Hi, turn to Steve Vonder, and we're back, and we are talking in this episode of Copyright Watchdog, we are talking about defaults under the London Has Fallen movies, okay? So um, some of you have probably seen some of my videos about London Has Fallen and those illegal movie downloads that are done through the BitTorrent website. Well, what happens is if you end up downloading that movie, you could end up being named on a federal copyright lawsuit as a Doe defendant. Okay, that means the plaintiff doesn't know who you are. This video is about what happens if you don't answer the complaint or you don't try to get in and get an attorney and settle your case. You could find that the plaintiff, London Has Fallen's what we call LHF Productions, Inc., could, now this could be any movie company, but could go and seek a default against you. And this is a case from Arizona courts. This is Arizona Federal District Court. And this is a final judgment uh, that I'm looking at, LHF Productions, in a case um, that basically resulted in a about a $16,000, um, no, actually about, uh, you know, 19, almost $20,000 um, judgment. And this was basically um, someone that did not answer the complaint, was sued for illegally downloading the movie through a torrent site, was sued with a bunch of other defendants. But the court um, in the final judgment, I'm just going to read it here for you, says um, the court having reviewed the plaintiff's motion for default judgment against, I'm not going to say the person's name, um, but the motion was granted. So what happens? There was a default. They didn't answer. So they come in and they basically seek the default. Now, um, the court made some findings that the plaintiff willfully infringed the copyright, willfully infringed, um, essentially means you intended to or were in reckless disregard of the plaintiff's copyrights, um, that the, plaintiff, the defendant was properly served, the court made that finding, and that they failed to appear and defend, appear and defend, that's what I mean, either get in with an attorney and get your case settled, usually we can settle these cases anonymously, or, or otherwise, you know, answer the case and, and litigate it. So um, the court found that statutory damages were appropriate, as the court put it, to deter infringement from other people. And then this is kind of why I'm reading this, is so that you realize if you don't answer, that they could get a fifteen, twenty thousand dollar judgment against you. Could be more. Could be up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. The willful statutory damage amount. So um, in this case, um, looks like the uh, court ordered 15,000 for statutory damages. So that's about one tenth of what you could get under the 150,000. So it's about um, one, one tenth of that, but it's 15,000 in statutory damages, 4,500 in attorney fees, the plaintiff sought their attorney fees, and $465 in costs. And now that would be filing your lawsuit, serving the complaint, so forth. Um, other additional um, findings of the court here uh, by the United States District Court judge, and this was just out of December 2016, so this is pretty recent. Um, the court had, had agreed and ordered a permanent injunction in joining the defendant from any fur further infringement, ordering the defendant to destroy all illegally obtained copies of London Has Fallen, in her possession, custody or control, including both electronic files and any hard copies. So in order to destroy an injunction, attorney fees, you can see how this is all racking up, right? Um, the court further ordered the defendant to delete all software used to exchange unlicensed media content, such as the BitTorrent protocol. So that's the client, the software client, that you download to share the movies with everyone else. So the court ordered that deleted as well and um, ordered that the defendant refrain from knowingly and willfully using BitTorrent or any other online media distribution system for copying or downloading content in violation of US copyright law. So um, that was the order of the court. That's what can happen if you don't answer um, like a Malibu Media case or London Has Fallen, uh, Mechanic Resurrection, Cell Films, you know, all these different movie companies that are out there policing the internet, looking for people that are downloading their movies. So this is attorney Steve Vondren. If you're facing a FRCP Rule 55 default judgment, you're not sure what to do, not sure what your options are, not sure what you can settle the case for, 
need to know what your legal rights are, give us a call. We're happy to help. You can find out more information at our website, torrentdefenders.com. That's torrentdefenders.com. If you need some help, we're at 877-276-5084. Hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to share it on your social media networks. And if you need some help, we're here for you. Attorney Steve Vonner in another episode of Copyright Watchdog. All right, we'll see you again. Take care. Mm-hmm.